But I figure I give y'all some content, man. It's only right. Y'all been great. Yo, one time for y'all. Love the supporters. Keep on supporting. We here. Boruto, Boruto, Boruto. Put some respect on that man name. Now, as a Naruto watcher, I feel like everybody who watched Naruto should be watching Boruto. Out of respect. It's only right. You fuck with Goku. It's only right. You fuck with Gohan. Right? Right. We got a special guest in the building. The young lady, Ida. What have you been doing, girl? What did you do to the internet world as well as the Boruto world? Like, let us know. You ain't gonna say nothing? You see this shit? She don't even want to talk. But, yo... Um, I'm, I'm gonna just speak for you. So, a panel was leaked, right? Chapter 79, and it shows the Leaf Village pretty much against Boruto. And everybody's assuming that Kawaki made a wish from Ida to switch places with Boruto. And now he's the son of Naruto. He's the stepson, but everybody's assuming he's the, the son of Naruto now because apparently they were saying that she brainwashed pretty much everybody into thinking that Kawaki is the son of Naruto, which that's not the case. And everybody was saying that that was a whole move of Kawaki. But if you've seen the last two episodes of Boruto, you seen when Kawaki went to go fight Cold and Boruto went running, you know, chasing this dude. Because that's his brother. He's only right. Yo, you got to help your brother out. So Boruto pulled up on Kawaki and Cold and... The conversation Cole had with Ida, both of them are Osusukis. So they got to feed one to the Tentails and one has to be her lover. So she's already in love with Kawaki. And when she seen Barto and she seen Barto talk his shit like, nah, bro, I got this. We're going we gonna, to we gonna take care of this nigga. You know what I'm saying? The moment she seen him talking... And just showing brotherly love to Kawaki, she was like, <gasps> what is this? And when I seen that shit, I was like, oh, no. Don't tell me it's about to happen. She was feeling Kawaki first. When she seen Boruto pop his shit, she fell in love with him, too. So now, this goes into what Momoshiki was telling Boruto. The prophecy, it came true. We all was talking about his blue eyes was going to make him lose everything. No, Momoshiki was talking about her blue eyes making him lose everything. And I'm looking at it. I'm like, yo, I'm sorry, girl. I'm, I'm so sorry for talking about you like this. But the viewers got to know. You're a very attractive young lady, right? Right. Right. So. Uh, yo, don't be having my bros fight. Don't be having don't, that's not right, girl. That's not right. <laughs> that's not right. That is not right. You got Kawaki and Boruto fighting against each other now because they both like you. Every dude that see you just fall in love with you, right? That's what you said. Come on now. But yo, what y'all think? Momoshiki was right on fucking point, man. So now she have two lovers. And I'm pretty sure if Boruto laid eyes on her, he's going to fall in love with her too. Because, right, that's the case. But anyway, man, I ain't going to hold y'all up. What y'all think, man? Momoshiki, you're a cold man. He don't want nothing to do with old girl. I'm sorry. <laughs> but yo, man, I just wanted to rant about this, man. Hey, I don't know if it's true. Who knows, yo? But hey. How y'all feel about this? Sweet.